I tell you it's not worth my time. 20 grand or I walk. I'm so sorry. Um, this is going to be episode four. Tony's Beer Corner. It's always a pleasure. But today, we have the feisty chihuahua. This is going to be a Mexican style lager. We're going to see what we can tell you about this one. Today, we're going to do... We're going to get right into it. Today, we're going to do the appearance right. It's going to be a two-part segment. Mm. <laughs> it smells good. It smells salty. This is how I, I find a lager to smell a lot of times. A little salty. A little, uh, little limey. Got a little bit of a taco shop flavor to it. So, let's go ahead and take a sip. It's good. It's kind of a... Uh, it's a whole, very whole feeling. This is not sharp. This is smooth. This has a whole body feeling. You can tell that. I'll bet that this is like a little brown colored, a little, a little, uh, okay, well, first of all, let's go ahead and have a look at this can. This is the Feisty Chihuahua, made by Sleepy Dog Brewing. We've got a Chihuahua here. We've got, no, 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 this is a big dog. That's like a bulldog. And then we've got a little Chihuahua right here. So that's for the can. Let's go ahead and pour this up. We've got a frozen mug right here. Oh, it's gold. I was wrong. I thought it was going to be a little browner. Real, real nice looking. Real, uh, not, yeah. No, it's not amber. It's, uh, it's a little orange. Yeah. It's not, um, not too yellow. A lot of times you crack into like a Coors Light, it's like yellow. It looks like someone's like a freaking pee. Well, this looks like pee too. <laughs> I'll be, I'll, I'll be real honest. But, no, look at that appearance. Let's get a close-up. I like this a lot. This is a very good beer. A lot of Mexican lagers I don't like so much because they're so um, light and, like, I don't like, like, Bud Light, Coors Light, and a lot of them are too similar to that. This one here give you a little bit more bang for your buck, a little more action. It's real whole, real smooth, like I said. So we've done the appearance. I'm gonna check that off our list. The aroma, no, we've done that too. That's gonna be the salt, lime, real whole. Again, tell, you're sipping this, I can tell you right now, you're not gonna be in freaking P.F. Chang sipping this beer. You're not gonna be in, uh, you know, you're not gonna be at Ocean Club. You're gonna be at fucking Tacos Los Altos. You're gonna be at Taco Meach. You're gonna be sitting there with your boys. I like that a lot. The aroma, the flavor. <laughs> well, um, gosh, it is, it's got, it lingers with you a little. It's got like a, got like a little, uh, a little tingly. It's real carbonated. I don't like a beer that's like, some beers are meant to be like more flat when you crack into them, like not so much carbonation, but I like the carbonation a lot. Let me take it to my friend Roy. No, Let me see so. what he thinks of this. Yeah. It looks like apple juice on this one. It does. And what is this? What it's kind of beer is this? It's a sleepy. I love it. It is a feisty chihuahua. I'd say like, really smooth. Like, it honestly has no flavor to it. It's like, it's just like, but it does have flavor. It's kind of uh, like, it's see. kind of bold, you let know? Would you agree with that? It's a little bold. Because compared to a Tecate. It's really making me think of a Coors Light, honestly. Like, that's really? Like, no, no, no. This is much more bold than a Coors Light. I'd hate to, to um, ruin your review. No, so. this is good. This is good right here. <laughs> so a Mexican beer, like a Tecate, that's like dirt cheap. So it's like, Tecate is real, like, kind of like Bud Light-ish. It's real light. This gives you a lot of flavor, a lot of freaking, um, it's not hoppy like IPA. Like I said, it's got salt and lime. That's what they tend to do in these lagers. A little bit of salt, a little bit of lime. Nothing crazy. I mean. The alcohol percentage is 4.9. I don't really know what's the average. Usually an IPA would be about six. Six is kind of high. But yeah, I've seen. Good range like six. nine, huh? Good range is like nine percent. Really? Yeah, that's pretty high. 
So, flavor, uh, yeah, okay. Palette, um, I'm gonna be honest. What I is... thought it sat really light, like, I felt like, uh, mm -hmm. it wasn't, like, sitting heavy, like a fuzzy, like, it wasn't like a fuzzy beer, or, like, you know, I got how IPAs, like, are just, like, a little, like, feel like they got carpet on my tongue. Yeah, it's, it's a little stingy. It's, like, mm -hmm. that's why I differ from, like, a different Mexican beer, because it kind of, it kind of stings, like, you could tell that I'm surprised this is a Mexican beer, even though it's... Really, you are? Yeah. You're surprised? What does it taste like to you? It tastes real it's like, normal to you? Really? Like, when I'm, like, like a straight-ass beer. But that's just me. It's good. It's good. I like it, though. It's I a real good beer. We've got it in our mason jar here. We're up in Flagstaff. It's a beautiful day. Got my shirt off. Um, it's real hot in this apartment. We've got our whiteboard. We've got our criteria. We got good friends. Um, where can we take it next? We do the chug test. Um, Check off the palate. Yeah. The third chug is so long. <laughs> My overall impression. Hold on, I gotta do the chug test. Go. That's a real good. That's a good chug. Oh yeah. You really get that lime when you chug it. Honestly, the chug test is a good feature of the show because you truly get a different impression of this beer when you sip it, when you chug taste. it. Yeah, and you get like, you could really get, um, you know, in, uh, in my bonus episode, if you guys watched that, I, sep I, I sipped an IPA, did not like it. But then I went ahead and chugged it and I was like, wait, I do like this yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so something like that can happen. There's endless possibilities when you're drinking beer. Um, you know, so this has been Tony's Beer Corner, episode four. I'm gonna wrap it up. We need Tony's take. Oh, well, Tony's take. Oh, I didn't rate it either. <laughs> Overall impression. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna give this beer a nine out of 10. And that's high for Tony's take. Tony doesn't usually, uh, a real picky guy. I'm a real picky guy when it comes to beer. So a nine out of 10. Tony, go ahead and call this one a day. The, the label's coming. This has been a Tony Patron presentation. Calling. Thank you guys so much.